it's Miss Mats and my dog, Harrison. He's kind of squirmy. But I wanted to introduce you to my little puppy, Harrison, who I've talked about a lot in class. And I thought I would read you guys a book that's kind of similar to his name and kind of looks like him. Harry the Dirty Dog. And let me tell you, my Harry sometimes gets very dirty. So I'm going to read you guys this book. And maybe Harry will be a good audience member. He's not as good of, as an audience member as all of you guys are usually in class. All right, so Harrison, sit nice for us for our story time. All right, Harry the Dirty Dog. I just love this story. I know I've read it to you guys in class before. I hope you guys enjoy it. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush. Now my dog is brown with white spots and he hates baths. And Harry buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the streets and he got very, very dirty. Uh-oh. He played at the railroad, and he even got dirtier. Oh, Harry. I would not be happy with my Harry if he got that dirty. Mm -mm. He played tag with the other dogs, and he became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. I think my Harrison liked that page. I don't know if you guys heard that he was, he's barking. He must have really liked that page. Here, let me pick him up. Did you want to see everyone, Harry? Okay, next page. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat, sat looking at the back door. One of the family members looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? Who's that strange dog? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped, he flop-flipped, and he rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook his head, shook their heads and said, no, this couldn't be Harry. Harry doesn't look like that. Harry gave up and he walked slowly towards the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole and pulled barking short, happy little barks. Kind of like Harry's doing right now. He's barking behind me. He found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs, he dashed with the family, following close behind him. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth. A trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggie wants a bath, cried the little girl. And her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he had ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as his children started scrubbing, they began shouting, mom, dad, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly and became once again a white dog with black 
spots. All right, last page. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush that he had hid under his pillow. Do you guys see the scrubbing brush hidden under his pillow? The end. Well, I don't know if Harry was the best audience member, my little dog, but I hope you guys were good audience members. I hope everyone is having a safe and healthy time at home. I miss you guys so much, and I'll try to send you guys some more fun activities. I hope to see you all soon. Bye, guys.